Hey everybody, it's Elaine. Well, this is it. I finally did it. I finally piled up everything that I got from the book sale. Well, I guess it's been about a month ago and I've not really had time to play with it. So, I'm going to slide my camera down a hill here a little bit because as you can see here in the chair, there are two more boxes of books plus what I have piled up on my desk. So I wanted to show this to you and I'm going to stop this video and get over there and clean off the desk again and I want to go through some of it with you and I want to show you how they set it up. To me, I could not believe it. It was incredible. I can't imagine how hard those folks worked. So anyway, I'll be right back Hang in there with me. Okay, so let's do this. This first book, look at the size of this baby. It's as wide as my hand. And apparently it was in some library somewhere. And it's the edition 1970. So not really that old. But I kind of like that cover. You can see that something must have laid on the top of it that the outside is a little bleached and the back of it is pretty good. So I figured this could always maybe be used for something. A new cover. I really like the paper in this. It's not real thin and the pages to me are in great shape. So let's see how much I paid for this. Now let me tell you the deal. Let me back up for a minute here and tell you the deal. The book sale was at Perry Fairgrounds here in Georgia. And it was on a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So if you went Thursday and Friday, I believe you had to pay $5 to get in. And the books were the price that was marked. Which all the books were marked in the upper right corner, usually somewhere around the first page and they were so sweet they did them all in pencil so if you really do have some sort of treasure or something you want to give to someone you can erase that thought that was very nice of them but anyway if you went saturday you paid half of whatever that price was and you got in for free well since i work and i work another hour in the other direction my house is actually between the Perry Fairgrounds and where I work, so I waited till Saturday. And the place was huge. And what they did, and this is what I wanted to show everyone, what they did was they had all of the books by category. So, like for instance, textbooks, children's books, older and vintage, but then even the older and vintage, they had a section up front that was um, kind of like special books. It doesn't really say that here, but they did. They had some um, vintage books and stuff in some bookcases up front. But they had everything. They had children's and more children's and more children's and biographies and hobbies and cookbooks and gardening. I mean, they just, they had all kinds. Of course, they had, you know, Bibles and religious books. They had foreign language. They had art, computers. But it was so very organized. And what they did is they put all of the books in boxes that were like liquor boxes. So my thinking was that that way they were all pretty much the same size for stacking. And also... For the most part, I would think no matter how much you put in there, they were manageable as far as carrying them was concerned, because we all know books can get heavy. So, when you got there on Thursday, I have been told that not only were the books lined up on the tables, but just about every table also had boxes underneath of it with books still in it that you could look through. But by the time I got there on Saturday, all the books were, that were remaining were pretty much up on the table. I believe I found some foreign language books under the table and maybe some artsy ones. But 
mostly everything else was above. Now what they did is the books were like this. They were all lined up like this. So you could pretty much see the title of it. Now some of the books, like the music sheets and things like that, they were in a box and then you kind of flip through them. But I, d I don't think I've ever seen so many books in one place. Now I made three trips because what I got was so heavy that I couldn't manage it anymore each time. But there were people with wagons in there. Now I know why. Um, my tote bag was sufficient for me and, and to go in and out. Now the first sale that I did, those ladies rang up every book individually and my total was $20.60. The next time I went to the same two ladies and they would put two books together and total it into a number so they didn't have to do all this calculating. Um, but so that was 20, this one was 9, and this one was 10. So that's about $39 that I, I spent. And best count that I could do is I bought about 88 books. So you've seen the setup. I showed you the first book, and I showed you my receipts. Now, I got this book. First of all, I think the cover is adorable. It's not in the best shape, but the front and back cover is pretty good. And it's funny because it's been a little while since I opened these up that I kind of forget all everything that I got. So this will be as much of a surprise to me as it is to you. This book might have been in the sale before because it was a dollar. looks like it had been marked through. So they had 50 cents in it. I only paid a quarter. So, But look at the pages. They are already aged. They're a beautiful color. The graphics are great. Do you see why I got it? And only for a quarter. So there's that one. And then this one, again, I kind of like the cover. It's a little beat up, but it's pretty good. And it is Love Songs. Now, how sweet is that? And to me, some of the graphics are beautiful. The pages are a good size. And I'd like to, like, where was that one that I just saw? I won't be able to, yeah, like this. You know, that could actually be cut out and made into a journal card. Just a little... Um, verse. So, I don't know. I, I like this book too. So, I'm going to put this to the side. You're going to have to excuse me because if I want to get through this, I'm going to have probably a pretty good stack. But I want to go as rapidly as I can. This one I liked. Um, Rain and Hail. Again, this one was 50 cents. I paid a quarter. And the pages in it are pretty much like hand drawings. I like it. And I'm going to see if I can show you the cover here on the camera. The cover has the umbrella graphics on it with the rain. Can I show you the rain cloud? With the rain cloud. So I thought that book was pretty cool. And how much did I say that one was? Yeah, a quarter. How can you pass that by? All right, so then these are keyboarding and typewriter introductory courses. I don't know about you, but typing was a class on a typewriter when I was in high school. So this book was marked a dollar, which means I paid 50 cents for it. But look at the pages in it. They are like way cool and they're two-sided. So really neat. It's got the easel back to it so you can stand it up. So I'll cut that wire off of it so not to, to mess up that, um, the holes up there, and that'll be a great page to use. And here again, same thing, typing the easy way. And the graphics in this, again, I think are pretty good, fun, fun. And it marks the lessons. Let's see if this has an easel too. It does. Oh, this one's nice. This is like the... Um, a little bit stouter than what some of those file folders, the hanging file folders are. And it's bound the same way, so that'll be neat. Cut those off, take those off. Now, what is this one? This one is Ships and How to Draw Them. And, yeah, that's right. This one had actually some articles in it that I guess the person had done. But look at that page with that handwriting. And then the ships. I wonder if this is one that the person actually drew. Oh my heavens. 
See, I didn't even see that in there. But the pages have aged wonderfully. Now, it was originally $2, so I paid a dollar for it. I was going to see if there's a year in this. Yep, this was 1950. So to me, this is actually a fun little treasure. It'll be fun to use that. And then here we go, 10 Key Mastery. Now this is, I guess, about using more of a calculator, but it says on the computer. So I guess they give you lessons, on, and it's like numbers and stuff that you, you need to put in and all. So again, I thought they would be fun pages. This one was marked a dollar and a quarter. So, you know, when they total it all up is when they divide it in half. So what, I probably paid 60 cents for that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, now I purchased a few atlases. <laughs> so this is three of them. I've told you before, I am map crazy. I don't know what's gotten into me, but there are some beautiful maps. And so this is Europe, and this is Poland, Philippines. So these are maps of all over the world. Of course, the United States. And this says $1.50, which means I paid $0.75 cents for it. And I was going to see if I could see what year this one was. This one is not really that old, 1977. But it's a pretty stout book. So that's fun. The next atlas also is a world atlas. And this one was 75 cents, which means, you know, I paid a little less than 40 cents for it. And it's got all kinds of things, too. Interplanetary, and then it's got all kinds of real, like, maps that we're used to seeing. That's the United States and the index. And I was thinking there were some more maps in here. Yep, here's some more then of around the world. So, and then some pictures of... I guess certain places and all that's nice all right so there was that one but again how can you pass it by for 40 cents do you see now why I couldn't walk away from it I'm sorry I'm so enthusiastic about it but apparently this book sale has been going on for years where have I been I don't get it and and I've said this to you all before when you you know go out and about look for different things you know, the big box stores are not going to have this kind of stuff. I love those stores. We need those stores. I probably should spend a little more time in those stores, maybe. But for 50 cents, I get this World Atlas. Look how thick it is. And the cover is padded. I mean, these books have so much potential and so many things to do with it. Now, these maps are beautiful. I mean, these are striking and sharp. These are great. I mean, this map, this is Kansas. And this map, I mean, it actually breaks down very clearly. Maybe that's just Kansas. But the state, I mean, the counties. The counties in Kansas are very square. Isn't that something? They're not all so square in other states. I know they're not in Georgia. But isn't that something? Yep, this is Georgia right here, and you can see it is. Oh, that's Alabama, I'm sorry. They are not square. But anyhow, so then, of course, the index. And then here we go. These are zip codes. I'm sure some of this has changed, but a zip code map. And then here are some more pictures in different places around the world and maps there. So those are three of the atlases I purchased. Yes, there are more atlases. Let me get them here. These two are kind of big. These atlases, I don't know. They're definitely bigger than 12 inches, maybe 15. And so this one was $2.50. So it means I paid a dollar and a quarter. And it is huge. But look at those graphics, those pictures of all of these animals. And, you know, topographic maps, of course, the regular kind of maps, but all kinds of information. So, you know, if you really did want to do a journal on a certain climate or a certain place, you would be able to get 
information from these atlases definitely on whatever area you are doing. So let's put that one to the side. These are about to stack up to as high as the, the seat in the chair that I'm sitting in. All right, so this is a, I think this is my last atlas. This is Reader's Digest, and it would have sold for $2. Oh, looks like I got it upside down in the cover. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. So this one, well, maybe it was upside down, and the price, did I just say the price? I'm getting myself confused. Yeah, $2. So it means I paid a dollar for this big old atlas. Here we go. And again, wonderful graphics, wonderful pictures. I mean, even if you didn't just use the page folded in half as a as a journal page, you know, you can fussy cut some of this out and put it on a page, put it in a pocket. I mean, that is a beautiful picture of Antarctica. Just beautiful. And then, of course, we've got all the, the information with the to tell you where to find the city and all. So that's probably my last atlas. I'm going to say probably because I'm not quite sure. All right, so then I got some garden books, gardening books. And not necessarily that I needed any gardening books. Oh, I lied. Here's a little atlas. <laughs> it was in with the gardening books. But this one I thought was fun. I think it's more or less maybe for kids. And I'm not seeing the price on this one. Chances are they gave it to me for a dollar, so I paid 50 cents for it. But it's... You know, smaller pages, not quite as crisp as some of the other ones, but I liked this. I liked this size and thought, you know, it would be, it would definitely come in handy. So I'm going back up. That's probably my last atlas. All right, so now let's get to the gardening books. Those, um, this one is on roses, 75 cents. So again, paid less than 40. And it has some, some wonderful graphics in them. Yeah, some of them look a little dated. But see, I like this. I like where it tells you, well, these are diseases. But when it has like a picture of a flower, and then you can you can kind of cut that all off and use it as a little slide in a pocket, that is fun to me. So like here, you know, you could cut that out and then find that flower, the description over here, and, and make a cute card with that, a little cute journaling card with that. So, that's the first of the gardening books. Now, this one is Home and City Gardener. And this one, let's see, was $2, so I paid a dollar. And if I remember correctly, is this the one? Uh, it's got some pretty cool pictures in it, but there was one I was thinking that had some great drawings in it. This may not have been the one. I did like this. I thought that was neat. I could see me doing something with, you know, these as a strip. Um, but anyhow, yeah, and here, this one. I really liked that. I thought that I could use that on um, some pages. So, see, yeah, these are the things that I, I just kind of stuck out to me that I really liked. All right, so that's that one. This one says Western Garden Book. And this is one of the ones, like I was saying, so you could cut that out and make a journaling card about that flower. Now, these are the fancy names to them, but I don't know, I just really, I like that idea of being able to do a little snippet and, and putting that in. And all of us always do garden or flower books and such. So these are plants, it's the same thing. To cut that out and make a little journaling card, to me would be fun. All right, whoops, let me back up. Let's see, that one was $1.50. Now that's pretty stout. It's a paperback. So it means I paid 75 cents. And now the next things I got for gardening were these two. Now they were a dollar a piece, which means I paid 50 cents. And I, I, I don't know if they have any of the same things in them. Um, this one has, the cards are kind of shiny. But there again, if you made... A book that um, has the rings in it this would be perfect you wouldn't have to do anything or even um, a book that had the vine um, excuse me the um, 
the binding rings in them, whether they be the plastic or the other, the wire, you know, you could still bind it that way. Or just simply stick this in a pocket. You could kind of even fold it up. It's pretty neat that it is um, a tip out. And then it's got, you know, some other cards and indexes and things in it. So I thought that was pretty good, again, for 50 cents. And then this one, it kind of looks like they maybe have done some copies. So I guess maybe they cheated on this one and used somebody else's. So that one may be a bust for me. I don't know. I'll have to flip through and see. But again, if, if it's nothing that I want to use, it was only 50 cents. So it, hopefully that won't break my bank. All right. And then crash, boom, bang. And then this is a cookbook. Now, yeah, I am one of those people. I have some recipe card boxes. And I know it's kind of gotten popular to um, use those in pockets and stuff. But it is still in my memory how much I paid for those subscriptions. And I just can't seem to take them out of my cabinet to do that with. So here, I go and buy a book. And I, I don't have this exact book. But I have like two sets, complete sets, where I did the monthly subscription of these cookbooks. Yet for all you younger folks, we used to have subscriptions for not only books, but we had records, and then we had, I guess, 8-track, and then we had clubs for cassettes and CDs, and yeah, there were cookbook subscriptions and everything. So it, that was the way of the world before the internet. And anyway, so here, these are, these are fun. Again, there's a cool picture and then the recipe. And like I was saying, to cut this out and use that, you know, put it on a little card, a journaling card. So I don't, let's see, did I say this was a, a dollar? So I paid 50 cents for this as well. So again, thought it was a great deal. And let me poke around here and see a cat. Two more big books. And then other than that, I think everything gets smaller. So this book, obviously, I'm going to say is Spanish. Um, cost was $2, which means I paid a dollar. And this one was fun to me, not only because the print was a little bigger. It was a different language. But if I remember correctly, I was thinking it had, yeah, some cool graphics in it from time to time. Like that's, you know, some stencil look like foxes. Yeah, I don't know what it says. And here, that's like some kind of dragon. So I can see how I can put this to use. And I like how every page has some kind of trim on it. So even that would be fun. Alrighty, the stack stack. And then, I don't know, I have gotten a few of these kind of books where, you know, it talks about like the best of or oddities. I think I even have a couple Ripley books. And this book they had priced at $2, so it means I got it for a dollar. But when you go through it, yeah, no, that's not a good sign right there. But there's always some kind of of cool pictures in these books. Now, you know, you can't, again, this is just stuff that you're not going to find every day. So, though there may be pictures in it that you don't want that are sad, it is the world in which we have lived. It is what it is. You just have to go through and find, look at these cool pictures. Look at these. I mean, how, I mean, just... I guess she danced him to death. <laughs> He's passed out. And there is old, looks like Herman Munster, but I guess that's supposed to be Frankenstein. And as I said, there's some bad ones, but there's many, many, many fun ones. Talk about prohibition. So anyway... That's why I got that one. And again, what did I say? A dollar. So there's definitely a dollar worth of good, fun pictures in there. <clears throat> Alright, let me do this. This one, 
Again, I think this may be a different language. Looks like kind of a kid's book. Oh no, this is a music book in different languages. And look at those graphics. That's beautiful. It is so pretty to me. And this paper, I don't know, it almost feels a little linen-y or maybe cottony. It, it It's definitely got a texture to it. Look at that picture. I mean, just amazing to me. So 75 cents, so again, would have paid less than 40 cents for it. All right, let me get this little pile out right here. Okay, so now I'm in the liquor boxes. So now I'm in the ones that have been bundled up. So let's see. Okay, these look to be like they had a section of um, like song books, like I was saying, and they were pretty much in a box standing straight up, and you just kind of flip through them. So yeah, these look to be like Christmas songs. Now I will say that I tried to buy sheet music without any words. I can't read music. I don't know the percentage of people that can versus can't. But sometimes, like this, I may like that picture and want to put it in a journal, keep it with the, the music, but don't necessarily want the words. So it's just my thing. So that one and that one was 75 cents, so I would have paid less than 40. And here is a book of just the music, no words. The pages are a little smaller. I would say this probably came with an organ or piano, Yamaha, 50 cents, so I paid a quarter, 30 years, 30 hits, 75 cents, again, no words, like it, like it, like it, beautiful thoughts, 75 cents, means I paid less than 40, this one has lost its cover, I believe, it was marked a quarter, so again, going to be less than 30, this one was marked a quarter, had been three dollars now it's a quarter a quarter and those pages are a quarter a quarter as you can see these are all a quarter and they're pretty neat I think summer collection that is some big notes on these pages here to give you an idea. Now this has got a few in it. Yeah. So this one was a dollar. I paid 50 cents. And it has some scribbles in it. But it looks like they're all in pencil. So they could be erased. This one has some scribbles on the cover. And inside. But again it looks like they could be erased. If you want to take the time to do that. And here's another. And then the last one is Encore. And again, no words. That's, I don't know, that's again my thing, how I kind of like it. All right, so now let's stack up the books here that are in this box. I'm going to see if I can just go ahead and empty this box out. And let's go on and dig through here. And then I can just put them back in as I, as I do them. This one, I, I remember this. I bought this one for the cover. I just like the cover. Ah. It was a quarter. Somebody's name is in it. But it's got some fun graphics and all too. It's obviously a kid's book. So I'll take that one apart. And this one was a quarter. And it's just old just got some age to it so nothing no big deal really and this is a ghost story but I thought it had some pretty funny graphics and all in it <clears throat> I don't think I paid me yeah, a quarter there were some that I think I just got carried away with myself because they were so cheap <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me look at that gonna get me a drink here look at that isn't that beautiful I think and the inside so this book was a quarter and the pages are aged beautifully I thought Let's see if I can see 
the year on this one. Okay, it's in Roman numerals. Let me figure this out. Uh, Nineteen forty-five, and this one I kind of like to that cover. This is Jay Steinbeck, Senyets von Eden. I don't know if I said that right. Fifty cents, and this is in a different language, and I'm going to say German. The print's a little smaller than I like, but it is what it is. <coughs> Blaze of Noon. thought so that was a fun title. So I'm going to try to do something with that cover. And again, look at that in there. So I paid a quarter. And again, the pages are aged beautifully. See, this one is 1946. And it's just, just a book. Just, just, just a book. Now look at that cover. I believe this is German as well. And this is poetry, if I can remember correctly. I got this in the section of poetry. So, I hope you're having fun looking at all of this with me. To me, it's pretty interesting to see what people can find when hearts are light again. E-L, my initials. Ha ha, didn't think about that. All right, so this one book, book was a quarter, and I'm just again trying to find 1943, and this book is aged nicely, and the words are a little bigger, so I liked that. This book was a quarter, and it's John Steinbeck, a speckly little cover, and this looks to be German as well. So that's that box. Now, this is the top of one of the other boxes. Now, I got this book, I know, because I liked the cover and because it was in a foreign language. It didn't really look that old, but for 50 cents, yeah, it says 1949, though. So, these pages are not quite as discolored as some of the others. Excuse me, I'm just trying to put these in the box as I go to save me a little bit of hassle. And get everything to fit. All right, Pollyanna. So looky here. And again, it is in a foreign language. I'm not sure. I almost want to say Spanish. I don't think this book is very old, but for 50 cents, the price was right. And the copyright. So this one was. 1988 so yeah not that old but nonetheless very much a bargain so how can you walk away and this book I don't know what it says <laughs> I think it's German also and I'm trying to see here if I can read a year on there though yeah this one is 75 so it's not that old but I like that cover and it's in good shape. <clears throat> Hans Brinker or the Silver Skates. The cover is magnificent. It is in great shape. Guess it was in a library. So I paid, yeah, it was in Northside Junior High School Library. It means I paid a dollar for it. And again, it's in great shape inside as well. So that'll be a fun book to use. Alrighty, so let's see here. Okay, wait till you see this. All of you golden book junkies. I'm not going to go through them all. But, let's see. I picked up, see, as you can see, some of them are not in the best of shape from the edges, but we're going to take that off anyway, aren't we? So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 little golden books. And I'd have to say I might have, for the best one, I might have paid a dollar. Now, this cover I just thought was too funny to me. About pickles. Everything pickles. 
pickles, pickles, pickles. Just, it was a hoot. Quarter. Can't buy pass, buy pass a pickle for a quarter. And the magical drawings. And there again, some beautiful pictures. Have some fun with that. Less than 40 cents. And the zoo that moved. Loved the color. Was in a library, obviously. Paid a quarter for it. But see, they discard it. Look at that. There is nothing wrong with the photos and the pages inside that book. Alrighty, so now I'm getting to the bottom. I'm getting to the bottom. Let's pile these up here. And this will be, this is the end. These are the last books right here. See how long we've been going. Okay, a little over 30 minutes. A little longer than I wanted. But I'm having fun going back through these myself. That cover to me is beautiful. I know I keep saying that, but I don't just, even back in those days, it's like an overlay. So I paid 50 cents for it. I'm going to say it's German. <laughs> Again, beautiful pages. Doesn't really look that old. Let me see if I can see a year that I can read. Can I understand what it's saying? I don't. There's not a C1 in there. And here's another one of those books. Again, I believe it's German. There's some crinkled pages there. Let me go on and see if I can't straighten those out a little bit before I put it all back together. All right, let's see. Okay. All right, and I liked that cover too. To me, that was kind of reminded me, you know, of Gone with the Wind somewhat. Even though with the ships and all, that's not very gone with the windish. Looks like German again. But I like these pages. I like that size. And I like that book. Loved this cover as well. This is a pretty thick little book here. It's not very big. Paid 50 cents for it. German. And this is the Oxford Book of 20 century English verse and chosen by Philip Larkin no relation to my knowledge but it is a book of poetry and I thought you know about going through here and again finding little quotes and stuff that worked and you know for whatever I might be working in so I thought that was a good deal 50 cents can't pass up 50 cents okay the making of today's world again loved the cover it's in great shape, and it's textured, like embossed. Now, I know they screwed up the cover in here with all of this desk copy and everything. Now, we're in Georgia. This book originally came from Ohio, so this book has traveled a little bit. But again, paid less than 40 cents for it. And it has some great graphics and some great pictures in it. So, I don't know. I just... I figured I'm going to do something with it. <laughs> and so the last two books here, saving the tiny ones for last. This book was a quarter. And this is just a little book, um, Introduction to English Literature. You know, just some pictures of the authors. Somebody has scribbled a few notes. But, I don't know, I liked it. These pages alone could be... You know, almost like a journaling card inside of a of a pocket. Just a little something in there. And then the last one. This one, I'm not quite sure really why I bought it. It was a quarter. Other than the fact that it's just words. I said that would be just something unique just to stick in a pocket. No rhyme or reason. Just give them some words. So that's it. And I can't wait till next year. It happens in, I think, April, about end of April, I think it is, every year. And I've already got it on my calendar. And no, I don't know that I'll go to it the first day. I, I came back with plenty, you know, getting it at half price and not having to pay the $5 to get in. So I'm pleased. I'm really scared that if I go the first day, I'll come back with twice as many books, you know, because they wouldn't have been picked all over. But 
Time will tell. We'll have to see how it is next year. So again, thanks for coming by and thanks for checking me out and going through this with me and seeing what I find. I have so much fun and I get so tickled with myself when I find cool things. So check out your libraries from what I understand. Most libraries do have library sales where they sell, you know, boxes of books or, you know, have just book sales. I don't know how often. Um, where I live, we just have a tiny little library, and I've never heard that they do that, but I don't know. But if you live in a bigger area, um, I do know that our recycling place where I work, they don't save the books. They actually trash them, which is broke. It breaks my heart. But I'm fortunate now that I have found three Goodwills, and I can find great books in there most of the time. And then, like I said, now I have this book sale to look forward to once a year. So, anyhow, again, thanks for coming by. Please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you're a YouTuber and you come by to see me, would you do me a favor and over to the side, make me a featured channel for you. I am still trying to grow my channel. I need folks to subscribe. I do want to hit that thousand mark. And when you're little, it's hard to get noticed. So, I'm not beyond asking and, you know... I try to help people as well. It's what we're here for to help each other. So anyhow, thank you, and I will see you all down the road. And you never know, I might see you in a book sale or in a Goodwill or thrift store. You never know. But if you see me, grab me and say, hey, I'll talk to you later. Bye.